around. What's up, doll collectors and gift givers? Today, we are taking a look at Wonder Woman 84. I am sure by now you all know that I am crazy about Wonder Woman. And I am so excited that there is a new movie, Wonder Woman 84. According to IMDb, the release date for this movie is now October 2nd, 2020 where it has a short description that says, Fast forward to the 1980s as Wonder Woman's next big screen adventure finds her facing two all new foes, Max Lord and the Cheetah. If I am pronouncing anything wrong, I do apologize. My obsession is with Wonder Woman and not her villains. From Barbie Signature, this is the Wonder Woman 1984 Barbie dolls set. I bought this from barbie.mattel.com. This is listed as an adult collector doll priced at $80. We get Diana Prince and Steve Trevor. This set is gold label and it was released on July 6, 2020. On the back of the box, it says WW84 Wonder Woman DC at the top. They are definitely pushing that 80s vibe with the TVs right here. There is a picture of Steve Trevor and Diana Prince, and then a close-up of just Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman's full image is on the side. At the bottom, it tells you no more than 20,000 worldwide. In the center, it says, Wonder Woman 1984 Barbie dolls shine the spotlight on the timeless romance of Diana Prince and Steve Trevor. Diana has been living quietly among mortals in Washington, D.C. and performing superheroic acts incognito. A chance encounter at the Lincoln Memorial reconnects her with Steve Trevor after decades of being apart. The world, however, is in grave danger. As Wonder Woman faces her fiercest nemesis, she must save mankind from a world of its own making and prove to everyone she is a hero for our time, for all time, for everyone. Wonder Woman! Dude, I am like so excited already and we haven't even seen the movie and we haven't unboxed the dolls. So without further ado, let's get these dolls out of the box. Out of the box, you get a certificate of authenticity. It says, WW84 Wonder Woman Barbie doll. This certifies that your Wonder Woman 84 Barbie dolls were created through the collaborative efforts of designers and artists at Mattel. It's printed on cardstock because it's gold label. We have two dolls and they both have doll stands. Wonder Woman is dressed all in white this is the same face sculpt as the Wonder Woman Barbie created for the first movie. She has dark brown hair. It is curled at the bottom, pulled back on the other side, and held in place with a brown rubber band. She wears red lipstick. You can see her teeth a little. She has on a double necklace. It's really shiny, but it is made out of a metallic thread or a very thin cording. For the packaging, it is being held down with rubber bands. I have had dolls in the past with necklaces similar to this, and I would have liked to have seen a plastic necklace with a metallic finish or maybe even an actual chain. Dude, this doll cost $80. She does have on a gold metallic bracelet, and that's nice and shiny. She wears a long white wrap dress Online, it is described as a white gala gown. It has a collar with lapels, long sleeves with a little bit of a gathering at the cuff. It wraps in the front and there is a tie at the waist. It's pretty long going all the way to the bottom of the dress. The whole dress is made out of the same fabric so it looks good in the front and the back. I think this is a pretty cool looking dress. Honestly, I don't have anything in my collection that looks like it. But what about the articulation? 
This doll has the articulated superhero body. She has movement at the head, shoulder. I do believe that is a made to move elbow. Yep, double hinged elbow. Rotation at the wrist. She can move at the hip. Has a more muscular leg and a made to move knee. She stands on an incline so she can wear these light pink heels. I love this doll, but keep in mind, I am super crazy about Wonder Woman, so I'm a little biased. With that being said, there are a few things that would have made me love this doll even more, like a full made to move body. I'm talking added movement at the upper arm, the upper torso, the upper leg, and the ankle. In my opinion, the made-to-move body is one of the best on the market right now at a reasonable price. And I just want them used everywhere, especially when a doll has this kind of price point. At $80 for the set, you're paying $40 per doll, so yeah, made-to-move body would have been nice. Steve, you're up next. Steve Trevor has a custom face mold. It looks to me like his eyes are kind of gazing up. He has rooted hair. It has some product in it, so it's a little crunchy. He wears a black jacket, and there are a lot of little details here. Look at that, right on the shoulder. I like details. He has a nifty little collar here, a working zipper, faux pockets at the top and on the sides, cuffs on the bottom of the sleeves, he wears a silver colored watch with some printed on black details. He wears a white t-shirt underneath, it velcros in the back. Nice little detail at the neck. He wears a gray plastic hip bag or fanny pack. It uses black elastic to go around the waist. He wears black pants. They have small pleats in the front. When I looked at the back of the fanny pack, I can see a little bit of the color has transferred onto the plastic, so I'm a little concerned about staining. The pants Velcro in the back. He comes with a pair of aviator sunglasses with red painted details and white sneakers with red and blue painted details. I really like those shoes. This is an articulated kin. He has movement at the head the shoulder, he can bend at the arm, rotate at the wrist, move at the hip, bend at the knee, and at the ankle. There is some protective cardboard around his knee. While doing so, we saw that he doesn't have made-to-move knees. They are a single hinge joint. And unfortunately, I did notice that a little coloring from the pants did transfer onto his backside. But just keep in mind that this is my experience and your experience could be different. Overall, for me, this set is a must have because I am a big Wonder Woman fan. We still get a partial made to move body and an articulated kin with custom face sculpts and new fashion. Did I mention the inside of this jacket is lined? And we can enjoy the dolls until the premiere of Wonder Woman 1984. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at Wonder Woman 1984 Barbie dolls. Let us know in the comments down below if this is a buy or pass. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time.